Welcome viewers, Zach here and today I'm back for another video. So today I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail like this, the little ribbon in all of the F1 videos you might see. So this is how you do it on Canva, it's a lot easier on paint but the quality isn't as good. So we're going to go to elements and we are going to search for a rectangle. You can choose any of these, I would choose this one over here. And the problem with this is you can only size it like so, you can't shrink it like that. So we're kind of stuck with it. So you want to size it down to something reasonable. So just go with how you would feel. So for example, I would say this size is okay. And then you're going to choose the color. So maybe Formula E, you can choose blue, but obviously for Formula, Formula One, you can choose red. So. Uh, I'm going to show you how I do the one I always make and then I'll show you a few other ones that you could make. So this is the color we want and now all we have to do is copy and paste like so and stick them together like that. It's pretty cool is that you can kind of like adjust it and then you can kind of like start copy and pasting together like this. So you don't have to copy and paste each of the pieces. So then you want to search semicircle, so you can select on it with these. I'll select this one. We're gonna we're going to turn it at 180 degrees. We're gonna change the color to red to match the ribbon. We're gonna shrink it down a bit. It has to be slightly smaller so we don't see that it's a half circle. And it should look something like this. I think we might just need to, so do control, paste, like that, turn it 90 degrees, and there we go. And then you can simply copy and paste and just see what f works for you, like that. So for me, I would say this is fine. So this is like the easiest one to make, like that. Looks pretty nice and it'll look pretty good on the thumbnail. However, you can do different shapes. For example, we can make uh, you can make it so that this line over here is down over here. We'll do what we'll do is we'll select all of these over here without the semicircle. Convert it down here. We're gonna take our little semicircle here and we are going to turn it around like this just try and adjust make it fit like that so it's not perfect but it's approximately okay you can try and move it and make it perfect so yeah you can do you can do something like this obviously we can move the text around but yeah you can get where we're doing this or maybe we'll put the text up here instead but uh the one you saw at the beginning of the video let's just Go back to that. All right, so now we are back to where we started. So for this one, all I did is I made this one a bit longer. So I have another rectangle here. And here I got another uh, semicircle and I put it here. And then I just put this one here so that it kind of fits the shape. So you can adjust it to how you want your thumbnail to look like. So maybe if you put this here, it'll make your thumbnail look better. And maybe it will look better just like this. But for me, I prefer this. So yeah, feel free to try this for yourself. See what you get. You can always adjust, change the color and stuff like that. But it's just red is usually the, the preferred color. Even though I used it for a Formula E video, I should have changed it to blue, but you know, it doesn't matter. Anyways, you can feel free to try this out. I've done this on Canva, you know, it's uh, free, so you don't need to worry. And all the objects I used here is free. You don't need to use Canva Pro for this tutorial. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.